Alo? Check, check. One, two, one, two, sound check. Can you hear me now? Yay! <laughs> we can hear. You heard something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what it is. Hi, Tam. <laughs> Hi again, Max. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what that is. I had that last time too. Do know. I do know the gremlins. Even though this is not political tonight. So, okay. Then I say hello again. Diane, Louise, Robin, Tam. Max, Deborah, Michael, now you can hear me too. Johan. Hi, Patrick. Well, Johan, I guess you have to start again all over. <laughs> hi, Tim. What, just a little hi? Me or the sound? <laughs> hi, the man. They call Raz. <laughs> Hi, Sue. I had sound check problems. Okay, cool. You're here. We're missing a few from... What, Diane? Don't scare me. You can't hear now? Don't, don't say that. <laughs> But you can hear me now, yes? Show must go on, yeah. <laughs> Hi, cold fan. How are you? <laughs> well, then it's not me. Hi, Catherine. Hey, good to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Deborah. Brian. All righty then. Hi, Amanda. Awesome. All my beautiful people are here. I have my daughter here tonight and my granddaughter. My daughter's in the kitchen. I like that. What's for supper? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> So, um, shall we start then? Because I have to keep it sweet and short today. Like I said, I have my daughter over and my granddaughter. So we never know what will happen, right? <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> so I just, um, as you know, well, for the one that don't know me, my name is Anya. I like to share my knowledge about healing herbs. I'm not a certified herbal specialist, but I deal with herbs for over 15 years. And every everything that I talk about, I try it out myself and work with it. If I don't, I will mention it. But this is the rare case, mostly the poisonous one, but we don't need to bring them up today. I did, and I will do it again, but... <laughs> Hi, James. <laughs> oh, cool, Ras. Yeah, it's just a little, um, I always like to tell a little history story to the herb or the land of the herb or where the herb can be found. So, of course, I would like to go totally into the history, but we know, right, um, it's like so much. So I'm just tell telling the surface about my favorite stories. So, well, I hope um, you will enjoy this. Of course, I will read it. I'm trying to read it. So today I want to talk about the King of Somerset. So um, he was a Scottish, he was actually Norse, a Norse Scottish warrior, which makes it even interesting. I mean, we know the Vikings, uh, 
invaded Scotland, right? So, um, yeah, so, and this, this is, yeah, story time with Anya. <laughs> you all get your popcorn, your ice cream. Hi, meditation man. <laughs> Oh, Alex, did I say hi to you? I don't know. Did I say hi? Because I say hi to you at least 500 times. <laughs> so, okay. Do we all have what we need? Where's my coffee? My coffee? Um. Oh, heaven sent. Okay, good. You're back. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Trina. Okay, cool. Awesome. Our cool little community. I love it. I love it so much. So, okay, you cuties. So, um, where was I? Well, he was a Scottish warrior with, and he had sons as well. And so I'm just going to read a little on the surface, right? Hi, Laura. Or did I say hi, Laura already? Shannon, I'm sorry if I miss someone or if I say hello to someone twice. Who is naked? Michael. <laughs> So, okay, so Samalet. He lived between 1113 and 1164. Samalet was the king of the Isles in Scotland. As you know, I mean, Scotland, the UK is an island anyway, but they have little islands on the outside. Isles, I can't. You know what I mean? You know I can't talk. Hey, down the rabbit. Burnwood Bushcraft. Awesome. Cool, you made it too. Uh, down the rabbit, I sent you an answer, right? I haven't, in case you have answered again, I haven't read it yet, but I sent you my phone number too, so it makes it maybe easier. For the plan. <laughs> okay. So, Somalet. Which name derives from the Old Norse Somalia? <laughs> I can't speak the name. Meaning, summer traveler. Was a mid-12th century warlord and ruler of the Isles. Somalet was the son of, of a Norse Gaelic family and a Norse mother. In 1140, he married Ragnhild, daughter of Olaf the Red Godred, Godred son, the Norse king of men whose territory included the Hebrides. The marriage of Samalet and Ragnhild produced four sons. Four, not two. I think I said two. <coughs> that never happened. Dugal, Ragnhild, Angus, and Olaf. He also had an illegitimate son, Gilbright. Well, I kind of think they all did. Somalet appears on the pages of history in 1153 when he supported his kinsmen, the sons of Malcolm MacHeth, an illegitimate son of King Alexander I, in their rebellion against the newly crowned Malcolm IV, King of Scotland, known as the Maiden. The previous king, David I, had died that year and had been succeeded by his 12-year-old grandson, Malcolm, who was the son of Henry, Earl of Huntington. So that was just the surface. Um, yeah, the Isle of Man, that, that, that's another one. Um, so yeah, that, that Beautiful little isle, isle. I can't say the name in English. Isle. I, I said islands, but it's not islands. It's called different. I can't pronounce it. So um, let me read a bit more. I mean, I can't 
I, I don't want to go too much into who was uh, the son of who and the grandson of who, because that, that goes like all over the place. And I just want to keep it covered with that um, specific king. Um, I was hoping Samalet would come. I mean, not the king, but Samalet, Samalet. He could have maybe helped me where he got the name from. Um, nickname wise, I mean. So, um, Samalet sacked of Glasgow and the surrounding countryside. The uprising, uprising was, however, let me just see if I should, yeah, 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 sorry. The uprising was, however, unsuccessful, and Samalet appears to have turned his ambitions on becoming king of the Isles in Gaelic Ra'ensgar a position then held by his brother-in-law, the unpopular Godrif Olofsson, who ruled the Isles off with a heavy hand. In 1143, Olaf the Red had been murdered by the sons of his brother Harold, but was succeeded as king of men by his Godred II. Somerled organized a cup titat whatever that means, and sized half of the kingdom in 1156. So he took over quite a bit here. Two years later, he defeated and drove Godred from power. Godred fled to Norway, after which Samalet ruled the entire kingdom, independent of both Norway and Scotland until his death. So I would say that's quite a bit of land. In 1164, Samalet was killed when he led a fast invasion force into Scotland, which culminated in the disastrous Battle of Renvrew against forces commanded by Herbert, Bishop of Glasgow and Baldwin of Bigger. So here we go, you know, if I hear Bishop, then I know that my favorite ones were involved. Sheriff of Lanark, although conte contemporary sources state that he was slain in battle, the history of the McDonald's and the book of Clan Ranald claim that Summerfeld fell by treachery. This is a possibility. That's the thing with history, right? You have to do um, research but you don't know what to research because you don't know what's true anymore. So the Carmen de Mort, Samaledi, written by an eyewitness, maintains that Samalet was wounded by a thrown spur and cut down by the sword. It goes on to relate that his head was severed by a priest and taken to the bishop. See, that's what I just mean my favorite institution, sarcasm, sarcasm, sarcasm. Somalet's son, Gilbright, was also killed in the battle. Somalet was buried on Iona. I've been to Iona, it's really, really beautiful. Or at Saddle Abbey, following his death, Somalet's domains were divided amongst his three sons by Ragnald. The descendants of Agnes went on to form the clan MacRory. The descendants of Dugal were the ancestors of the clan MacDougall. And the descendants of Ragnald's son, Donald Moore MacRanald, were to become the clan Donald. So I think most of you have heard probably um, of those clans, clans MacDougall at least, or clan Donald, right? So I really can't get into the clans, like I can't, I don't have that knowledge first of all. And um, then there is a clan and a clan and a clan. So <laughs> you really have to study ancestry to do that. So, but what I found interesting is mostly um, that there, that this man was obviously, hi 1111. Thank you for coming. 
So um, what I find mostly interesting is that this Scottish, Nordic Scottish warrior was so interesting. Hey, my skies. Um, that he was so interesting that they even did DNA researches. So um, for whatever purpose, but there must have been a purpose that that did study that much, right? So uh, um, this, uh, what I have here is off the internet. I didn't come up with that. So I'm not, you know, decorating myself with other people's feathers. So, um, a historic Celtic hero, hero credited with driving the Vikings out of Western Scotland was actually descendant from a Norseman, according to researchers by a leading DNA expert. According to, to traditional gen, genealogies, Samolet, who is said to have died in 1164, after ousting the Vikings from Argyll, Kintyre, and the Western Isles, was descendant from an ancient royal line going back to when the Scots were living in Ireland. But Brian Sykes, an Oxford University professor of human genetic blah, 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 he has discovered that some of that's uh, Y chromosome, which is inherited through the male line, is of Norse origin. So, Professor Skye's studies of three Scottish clans have also led to the conclusion that some 500,000 people alive today are descendant from Samolet, a no number only bettered by Genghis Khan, what? who among historical Figures, that was my descendant. Um, who among historical figures studied to date has an estimated 16 million living descendants? Well, we know that Genghis Khan, uh, he was very, very, very active. <laughs> Rass. <laughs> So, um, so that's what I find very interesting. So, and this goes into the McDonald's, the McDonald, Dugal, the McAllister. So, and, and, and like I said, um, I, I really can't get too much into that. <laughs> Change is the fertile turtle. <laughs> I crucify Robin Hood. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, if you like, look a bit uh, into this. Um, I, I, I'm not too sure about getting rid, rid of Viking, Vikings, um, though, on my point of view. Where's my coffee? You didn't drink coffee. I want a coffee. Excuse me. I want a little coffee. I'm fine, coffee. Sorry. Hi, then solo twin crow. Hi. <laughs> so, um, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Blackburn. Thank you. Oh. So, um, cheers. <laughs> Just a little. No, I'm not up from coffee. I'm up anyway, so I might as well drink coffee. <laughs> Hi, Edwin. Sorry I didn't see you before. So, um, 
Yeah, just from my point of view, I don't think he got rid of the Vikings or was planning on take it. I mean, oh, there you are. Now I saw you, sorry. I was concentrating on reading my script that I, uh, that I tried to read, that I printed off. Sorry, I'm just looking at my daughter. She just buggered off. And my granddaughter is upstairs. You yeah, just leave the mommy, right? <laughs> Sorry. Hold on a second. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just found it very interesting that they did DNA research on that. And as I said, I'm not too sure. I mean, I wasn't there. I mean, maybe I was, but I don't remember if I was. Um, I just don't buy the driving the Vikings out. I, I, I don't, I'm not too convinced about that because, I mean, he was obviously born there. And um, must have came over there at one point. So, um, right, IOX? <laughs> I, I wasn't too sure if I should stream today, but I thought I'd give it a try anyways. My daughter hates me for that. Hi, Bobby. So, um, okay, so, yeah, that that's pretty much I do that. I mean, um, I listened to songs. I read about it. Like, he was a really badass, like, and I just like the story to it. So, like I said, I can't get in too much. Hi, Doc. And I'm trying to read the chat too, <laughs> so I don't miss anyone. Because I don't want to, I want to think I forget or oversee anyone. Hi, Breaking Dawn. Um, I was talking about, I, I want to introduce some herbs that grow in Scotland. And I thought I'd tell a little story about Summerlet. Or I did tell just the surface of the story. Um, he was a warrior king and he had actually Viking DNA. So I'm pretty con convinced he came before or even came with the Vikings. But that's just my theory, right? I'm not I'm not a historian or university professor. And if they are listening to that, they're probably, what the fuck is wrong with that woman? We're... So... <laughs> Right, Russ? Yeah, I do. I like it bad. <laughs> Just... I'm good, Bobby. How are you? Not just there's something very fascinating about this. I mean, they had all warriors in Scotland, right? They were all fighting and, and hardcore and badass. But it just, I don't know, something about this story just gets me. It always got me. So, and then I read Somalet's name and I was like, that's actually it. Why can't I talk a little bit about my favorite one here? So. You know, that's called karma. When I couldn't have my quiet time when she was little and she came out of the bedroom every five minutes. I have to pee, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Oh, she's getting it so bad. <laughs> ah, cheers. There's evidence of the Viking. 
yeah that as well and and they had they they check dna uh, dnl dna on that as well <laughs> and just in case my daughter watches this i really love you <laughs> she won't watch it anyways she's like like are you almost done then mother <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. She's not mean. She's a good one. So, um, it's just coffee, so just a bit coffee. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't know, for some reason, like I said, like three times now, I'm just trying to catch my thought again. I don't buy the driving out the Vikings story. For some reason, I don't know. I I have to look more into that. Um, it just something is doesn't smell right. And like I said, I'm not an historian or something, and I don't want to say they don't know what they do. It just my gut feeling something is not right. Oh, awesome, Dan Solo, cool. So, Tim, I said hello, right? They all went to Minnesota. So, um, so then I'm just gonna talk. I keep it a little, a bit short today, and I apologize. So this is not gonna be a two-hour stream today. I'm just going to talk about some herbs that grow in Scotland. The famous one that we all know, which became a symbol for Scotland, is the thistle. If anybody laughs how the, the way I say it, I'm going to throw you in there with your bare ass. So, to say... Bobby, why do you want to be a mod? Wait, it's it's not favoritism that I do here. Hold on. Um, uh, let me see. Can a mod make someone a mod? Hold on, hold on, Bobby. It's really just I I only pick mods to keep uh, trolls out. There is no favoritism or anything, Bobby. I try to get that here somehow while I'm doing that. Shit. Uh, oh, now I know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know why, what, what, why. Everybody gets so excited about mod. Hold on, Bobby. As soon as I see my chat again. Um. Okay, no, I, I don't feel like... Uh, Wait, I'm trying here, but every time I click your name, my chat disappears. I can't do it with a laptop here, Bobby. It's not working. I really can't. I'm not doing it on purpose, Bobby, I promise. It just, I don't know. It, Okay, um, I have to see. Maybe after I put the stream on hold, maybe it moves in. But it's just every time I click on the stream on the chat, it turns blank, and then I have to wait until the page loads. No, I don't want to get kicked out of my own stream. So we have the thistle. Did I say that right? So we know that is the symbol of Scotland, right? 
We all have seen it. Um, um, um. So it's the leaves, stems, and root of a Scottish thistle. Thistle. <laughs> um, it's called the flower of Scotland, but I'm I'm pretty sure you have heard of that, right? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you? And it became the national symbol after the Battle of Carks. A Danish invader planned to make a surprise attack on a Highland clan, but stepped on a thistle and cried out, thus foiling his attack. It, it is said to symbolize strength and tenacity and adversity, much like the Scottish people themselves. I like that. So I, I find that story is uh, pretty cute. Like, I mean, you're totally trying to attack. You're being a, you know, warrior with no underwear, just a skirt. And then you step on a th th thistle and you scream. <laughs> Hi, truth seeker. <laughs> so... So I think that kind of sucks. So, oh, cool. Cool, Catherine. Yeah, I find it's interesting. I mean, at one in the end, we will all like, uh, I think one big cocktail anyways. So, um, so the purple part of the thistle that is, is mostly used used as a tincture because the, the fruit itself it's too harsh for tea so it's not recommended it's not uh killing you or something but uh, no so um it, it's it's better if you make a tincture out of it <coughs> so um fill up the mason jar almost to the top fill it up with good Good um, vodka or schnapps without taste. I like to mention that every time. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, cool, Johan. Yeah, I think my descendants are picked. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty convinced about it. Let me try to trick my. It's not working. I just tried to tried it again. Nope. What the hell? No. Here, I think I got it. I got it. Ah, it worked. Ta-da. Okay. Um, like I said, um, it it uh the the usage for the thistle for the yes, you can drink the uh, tincture. Haven't sent like if you make a tincture. You mostly want to take a few drops of it, like three, four times a day, depending on um the issue and um, how bad it is. So usually I say three to five drops, you know, and um, that usually does the trick because it's very concentrated if you make a tincture. Like in the tincture, you let, like if you fill it up with the alcohol and you seal the glass, you let it sit at least for six weeks and that will draw out all the ingredients, the, the supplements of the, I always say ingredients, the supplements out of the, of the herb, of the root, of the leaves, right? So, so um, that is, um, you don't have to sit it in the fridge, heaven sent, because it's alcohol, right? Just, just make you need you need to shake it between a bit. If you had let it sit in between, like every few days, just shake it up a bit. 
this will sell it. Yeah. No. Sting nettle sell it though. If the leaves are, are, are fresh. Fermented, yeah. Six weeks. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand. <laughs> Twin crow, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, so and the thistle, it's um it's blood cleansing, it will it detoxing, it it's very relaxing for your nerve system, like if you tend to have cramps or pain. It will help for that. Um, it, it, it's supposed to be good for allergies. I haven't tried it for allergies, though, for stomach problems. And the main part, like I said, is liver and gallbladder. Also, it is for migraine. If you get seasick, like, you know, when you get sick, sitting in the back of a car or um, you have a shitty space, a place and on a ship <laughs> if you have to travel <laughs> cool Catherine you do magic <laughs> and yeah if, if you it, it's good if you have uh if you have some kind of if you got poisoned I mean I'm talking bit poison not by um foxglove poison you need to eat charl or find a doctor but let's say you ate something i don't know the chicken that you put in in the fridge three days ago and then you fry it and you feel a little icky so for stuff like that if you feel dizzy so um yeah it's a very nice nice one actually so I mean, you can um, the the seeds from the seeds you can make um, the tea, okay? But the well, you can use the fruit, but you need to have let it sit for really quite a while, at least twenty minutes. I would even go half an hour. So it, yeah, it, it's very good at detoxing, right? Because it's um, mainly for liver and gallbladder. And we know this is where all our detoxing process happens. So, um, or even if you had a, a barbecue party and you went a little overboard and you feel sick, so it will help your liver and your gallbladder. So very good for your liver. So that I can really say. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure you can buy it in in herbal store stores. Heaven sent. I'm very confident about it. I mean, you could even get the seeds and plant them in your in your yard, right? Maybe you're lucky and you even have them growing in the yards, in your backyard. So if your gallbladder was removed, then your liver is working. Twice as hard, Catherine, I find. Um, if you have a, a true seeker, if you have a liver issue or gallbladder, I would take it daily. Like there's nothing wrong to take it daily, but also um, remember even herbs, they are medicine, right? So if you take certain herbs that are for certain purposes, like this one is for your liver, I would never recommend to take it um, longer than five weeks. And then I would always take a little break of two weeks and then continue. Like if you use herbal medication, um, it takes, of course, a bit longer to, to start function to work. So you need to give it a little time. But then it's OK to take it over a longer period of a few weeks, five weeks, six weeks. It's, it's fine.
so um uh i think you can even get it in a, as a homeopathic um little pill the round little pills yeah um feed stickers oh yeah I've, I've heard about that too catherine i think diane you told me about it are oh, you welcome true seeker Yeah, and I find this is with, with every herb that you take, right? Um, like, even like, if you're totally peppermint addict, like after six, seven weeks, I really would take a break. Because even peppermint pea has a has a purpose, right? It's um, So always take a break. Yeah, black seed oil. Yeah, that, that is good too. It, it's also good for, for if you have any issues with your skin. And also, um, thistle is good for migraines. I forgot to mention that. So um, another one. Yeah, nettle. I love, like, sting nettle is my favorite. Like, it has so many supplements, cal calcium, um, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin D, um, and so much more it actually like if you're out there stuck in the wilderness and you find sting nettle you're fine you're cool and that's why i like these herbs right i just like um not only that it's the, the, the symbol i just imagine right not only that idiot stepping on them and screaming their, his head off um it just i always like to imagine what did they do oh yeah Somerlet, yeah, horsetail, high in calcium, yeah. You see those plants? That, oh, I'm enlightened. I have an orb. I'm just kidding. That's my window. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like to imagine what they did, right? I mean, when they were out there and they had no food or nothing, what were they doing? Eating grass? I'm, I'm pretty sure some of them did and, and, and had terrible colics and even died, you know? So I'm just thinking, you know, maybe they picked a few sting nettles or, I mean, you don't know. I just like to imagine that. So also what they say about the sting nettle, that's what I have found here. In 2011, um, they did a study about the thistle and it was even official. It said that the thistle will reduce the growing of the cancer cells for, for lung cancer. So, it, and, and then of course it wrote the little, little note there, at least it slowed it down with the mice. So, um, so they're still working on it. Means for me, it worked with the mice, it will work with a human, but we don't want to bring it out yet because we're making too much money on chemo and other shit. So, um, I love to you, Catherine. Oh, dandelion roots. Mmm. Or oh, coffee. Have you tried, uh, Dandelion coffee from Roots, some of that. That is good if you roast them in the oven. Mm -mm -mm. Typing, writing, no hands in dark. Are you at work, Michael? Fiddleheads. Yeah, but I never find them here. Well, even dandelion, the leaves, when they're fresh come out, the fresh leaves. It's wonderful. Like, I, I love wild salad. I mean, of course, I mean, I live in a city, frick. So, I mean, in a suburb, not like in a city, I would like literally die. So, but I have a nice backyard and um, the dandelion took pretty much over, but that's fine. Dandelion wine. I made a jelly out of dandelion with honey, lots of honey in it. So, um, Eat what, Michael? 
Okay, Brian, thank you for coming. Oh yeah, oh you can even make um um oh god I forgot the word pesto pesto you can make pesto you can mix yeah let let's try that out guys let's try a sting nettle dandelion pesto oh awesome yeah that's awesome yeah that's what I'm gonna try a sting nettle dandelion leaf pesto mm, 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 mm. and it's healthy right yeah i'm in that that sounds good let's try that out and then maybe much love brian so that's what i mean i mean even if you're out in the wilderness and you're out on a on a spree to kill your enemies i mean you have your food around I mean, not sure if they did that. I just like to imagine that. Yeah, Brian, I am love. Yeah, the jello, uh, the jello, the jelly was good. Yeah, I mean, you need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of leaves, a lot of leaves. I mean, it's almost colorless, right? So, and almost flavorless, but. It, it just got a special tingish, Swedish taste. <laughs> Sorry, then. What's for supper? We want to eat too. <laughs> Have a good night and thanks for coming. Um. So then, what else did I find? What? So, of course, we have the heather. I talked about the heather last week. That is, of course, everywhere in Scotland, right? Nice and purple. I love it. It just looks like a purple carpet. So, um, that's very nice. But I talked about it last week. So, um, what else? I'm not sure where this is to find outside of Europe, though. Um, it's a bog myrtle. Um, there are different kinds of myrtles. Um, I, I write the name because I'm pretty sure I totally say it stupid wrong. So I write it in the chat. So, so, and, and that this just to mention that is my last herb for today. I'm I'm sorry I can't can't make it too long, but I have company over, and I know you understand that, right? So that is something very common as well, growing in Scotland. And I've seen it there too. Um, but I didn't know what it was for. So um, I have not tried that one, that specific one. So that's why I can only say a bit what, what <laughs> why the lemon sounds like. <laughs> it might help you going to the toilet. <laughs> So, um, well, actually, if I'm just reading it, that might do it. That might do actually the trick. <laughs> so that's why I just have a few information. Um, so for medicine purposes, um, the leaves are normally used as a tea. Um, prior, it was used as a general fever remedy. So I can imagine... If you're out there in the highlands, you know, and you live in a cabin or wherever. And you have like nothing. You don't have the 7-Eleven to drop some aspirin. <laughs> so, and you have it actually growing around you. I mean, that's what's so ma amazing. I mean, you step out the door, like especially Scotland, and you have heather everywhere, which is just to... Um, 
mention it quick again to bring it in your memory, atroitis. I mean, Scotland is like always damp, right? It's never really dry. So, um, so that was mostly for, the heather was mostly for rheumatism or atroitis or gout, mostly. But I, I mentioned last time all the other supplements for what it is. So it's amazing. You have the herbs that adjust Actually, the herbs adjust to the land and to the people living there. So it's really amazing. So you have a life outside of YouTube. <laughs> I know, shame on me. Mea culpa, Maxima. Mea culpa. <laughs> so the bock myrtle. Um, yeah, I said fever remedy. And it was also cured to use ulcers. An infusion of the leaf tops has also been used as a cure for worms. So interesting. Hi, Mary. Yes, sorry, my first stream was with no sound, so I had to switch. <laughs> Hi, Quads. Did I say hello to you? Sorry. So, um, again, I mean, I, I found, find this interesting, too, with the worms, right? I mean, you're living outside. You have to eat what nature gives you. I mean, back then, I'm talking back then. And, of course, uh, I mean, also worms. I mean, if you eat food, if, if you pick plants in, a, in the woods or wherever you pick them, herbs, make sure you wash them. I mean, because they're foxes. And they will for sure give you a worm or two, you know? So make sure you really clean them. Just saying. Good night, Res. Thanks for coming. You got worms? I'm not talking worms in the ground. I'm talking worms in the tummy. <laughs> hmm. So... Well, it's almost over anyways, Mary. I have company. I have my daughter here. So I just um, keep my promises. Hey, Persium Scribe. <laughs> You're almost coming to the end of it. You still up? Oh, yeah. Just saying, hey? <laughs> cool. Almost. Uh, yeah, Persian, he had a great stream today. Very interesting. So check it out, you guys. It was really, really interesting. I got all excited and got the hot flashes watch, listening to it. So, okay, where was I? Then for food, you can eat, also use it for food purposes. The aromat aromatic fruits and leaves are used either fresh or dried to flavor soups, stews, etc. So we all know... They love the good stew, right? With veggies and killed one of their highland cows there. They are sometimes put in beer and ale to improve the flavor and increase foaming. The dried leaves make a delicate and palatable tea. So I would think they mostly went for the beer. I mean, they like the beer and the meat, the honey wine, right? So... But I can so totally see that for the beer, even though I saw hope growing there. So, so and then they had other uses. A wax covering on the fruit and leaves was extracted by scalding the fruit with boiling water and immersing for a few minutes. The wax floats to the first surface and was then skimmed off and strained through a sheath cloth and used to make aromatic candles isn't that cool like you have something for fever you have something for the stew you know some green for your stew and you can make candles i mean how cool is this yellow and brown dyes can be obtained from the steam tips the plant repeals moth and insects in general and is an ingredient in a commercial insect re repellent a fragment essential oil is obtained from the fruits. 
A cosmetic company has recently produced an anti-aging cream using bock myrtle. So be aware that the bock myrtle will disappear soon. So, I mean, but saying um, wax covering, so I'm just thinking um, you should be careful with the dosage or how much you eat of it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peridian. Yeah, I would love to. I hope um, we can find a time. I know um, um, we have eight hours apart, I think, right? You, are you Britain, Persian? So, I don't know, maybe on, on a weekend or something. That could work. Not sure with your work, though. <laughs> yeah, right, Robin. I'm hungry, too, now. I think I want a salad, too. I have, like, an old cucumber in the fridge that I'm going to kill. <laughs> I'm going to hunt it down. Oh, you central central US. Yeah, well then then we should oh then we should find a time somehow. But I think it was you working right with your work time. So, but but we will we will find it. We will find the time because it's very interesting. I was like blasting in a chat, and I was unpacking my boxes too at work. <laughs> Oh yeah, meditation man. Chill with Glenn is very nice too. He plays his own music. So it's really cool. So many awesome people with so many awesome channels. So make sure you, you check it, each other out. Oh, two hours. Yeah, I thought you were somehow in, in Britain. Now I was totally off. <laughs> that would have been another oopsie. <laughs> Oh, you know him, Max? I don't know what I am. Is it mountain time, Summerlet? I, I cannot remember that for the life of it. Like, seriously, I so suck in this. And I have no shame to admit it in public on YouTube either. So there. <laughs> I'm not even a Mountie. <laughs> Thank you, Summerlet, for telling me where I live. <laughs> I'm Alberta. And Summerlet, yeah, Summerlet is BC and I'm in Alberta. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I have a neighbor that knows where I live, right, Summerlet? Well, neighbor is good, like nine hours, I think. Yeah, Edmonton, yay. I so want to live on the country, but I can't afford it. It's like... Hi, Bonnie. Oh, there are many good channels for tarot. Um, I do sometimes some reading with Suji. Yes, yeah, Suji. I can recommend Suji. She was here in the chat too. She does awesome readings. We we can see read, see readings. Schuster readings. You pick it. So. So you can, um, yeah, she should have been on my chat. I think maybe she is still here. Sue, show yourself if you're here. Shameless plug to more. Live remote viewing, Anya. <laughs> Shameless plug. Oh, I got you funny. Thank you, Heaven Sen. Thank you for coming.
So, Vanya, there's so many channels. Warrior Princess, she does readings too. Then we have Raven Wolf, she does Mayan readings. So it depends on what you're looking for, right? So yeah, I don't know. I didn't have one from him, so I don't know. I can only mention the ones that I had readings from. Well, there's so many out there. Depends always what you look for, right? Um. So yeah, Trisha does readings too, but I'm not sure if she still does readings or numerology more. I don't know. She changed some stuff, so I don't know exactly what is going on there. Yeah, that's why I didn't say anything, because I really don't know. Yeah, I mentioned that, Sue. Yeah, Niz does readings too. She does the rune reading and a Mayan reading. Sue does the Schuster reading and frequency and energy reading. Excellent. Um, hi, Worldwide. Thanks for coming. Well, I do read cards, but I actually don't read cards. I, I do it different. So. I like really dive into the energy. I mean, we all do. I mean, if you do card readings, you all dive into the energy, of course. I didn't mean to have that sound bad. So, oh shit, don't touch the chat, don't touch the chat, Anya. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what else? Did this answer your question, Bonnie? Are you still here? So, yeah, I would... I would do some readings now, but like I said, I have to go. I have my daughter over to visit, and she just uh, locked herself with her daughter in the room, so she doesn't squeak, and I can't handle that anymore. So, now what happened? Yes, Michael. Yeah, right, Persian. It's an awesome community. Everybody is so awesome. <laughs> James. <laughs> you are not complicated. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> Okay, you guys, um, Louis. Right, Somalet? Yes, he did. He went to Valhalla. And I don't I don't know your point of view on that, but I don't believe he was drive thriving out the Vikings of Scotland. It just in Argyle or wherever. It just doesn't sound right. And more, co more convinced, actually, he brought them. I, I don't know. I'm I'm weird. 
I'm trying to change history, maybe, but I can't explain it. It's just what I see. Asgard fell? <laughs> nope. Yeah, he brought them. That's what I mean. And in some uh, something that I just read here, it said the opposite. So that's what I mean. You cannot believe everything you read. And I know I'm getting this from somewhere. So, I mean, I read about him before. So I must have read the right stuff before somewhere. Or oh, this is another Mandela thing here. So... Well, Asgard fell only in Marvel. I haven't even watched that one yet. Um, no, Asgard is still there, Michael. I know. I know for a fact. For now, it's still there. That's simple, exactly, James. <laughs> Night, James, love you too. Max, I don't know what reality I live in. <laughs> I think, no, Michael, really no. I'm so negatory on that one. My spongy. <laughs> I mean, it's the nine realms, right? Throw the bones and ask. <laughs> no, actually, I don't need to throw bones. I communicate there. Um... Uh, whoever that is that has to stop in an instant, right away, I'm getting really ugly. Not in my round here. I'm really getting pissed off. Yeah, throw it completely out, please. Wake up, thank you. Are you here, wake up? I didn't see you. I wake up. Good, thank you. Oh, when did you come in? Did I miss you? Yeah, Michael, we are Midgard. Then we have Asgard. Then, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me sort my brain. I just got pissed off. Um, um, Really, we're starting that now? Okay, okay, I can start to. I can really start to. Don't piss me off. Fuck's sake, really? People need to get a life or a hobby or something or anger management. Um, yeah, we have Asgard, we have Midgard. Um, then we have Hill. Then we have the uh, um, the ice. Uh, oh, shit. Wait, sorry. I'm totally distracted now. Something hell me where the ice people live. Then where the dwarves live. Um, fuck's sake. I'm totally distracted now. Wait, I need help. I need help. Ah, Persian scribe. We have people sometimes that need to, they don't know. 
not even trolls, just people that can manage personal situation have to bring it on to others and get others involved, even that though they weren't involved, that stayed out of it, they have to involve them. It's called 12th class behavior, high school behavior. And I know who it is and I'm even more upset about it because I didn't expect that. So, okay, Michael, let's get into the nine realms quick. Wait, now I have to look it up. And I can't remember the names, Michael. Thank you, wake up. Yes, yeah, sorry, that just ticked me off because I know who it is and I don't understand it. I just don't. Okay, because I can't speak the names... Michael. They have such weird names. I can never remember them. Yeah, because they have weird names, right? Oh, I know it's not you. Don't you worry. It's all good. Okay, I look it up and then I have to go. Oh no, that was Marvel. We don't want to get into. I'm almost there. Almost, almost. Do you honestly think I'm going to find that now? Ah, oh, yeah. Niflheim, Maspelheim, Asgard, Midgard, Jotunheim, Vanaheim, Alfheim, Svartalfheim, Helmheim. <laughs> And they're held in the branches and roots of the world tree Yggdrasil. So and they have the dwarfs, the the ice people. Maybe I talk about it next week. That's a good wing. Yeah, I figure the names up out. I talk about that next week. Right now I'm too pissed off and I'm actually not happy about it that I'm pissed off because that just gives confirmation I shouldn't have done that. Oh, Amy's here. Hi, Amy. Don't forget to check Amy out if you haven't. Okay, you guys. Alex, stop. Alex, stop. 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 Don't. Okay, you guys. I'm going to leave now. Like I said. Oh, you pick one for me, Amy. Surprise me. Thank you, Samalit. Yeah, those are the ones, but don't expect me to pronounce the name. I actually wanted to check. Well, I'm checking him out and already, but um, uh, Jackson Crawford, he has a channel on YouTube. He studied the Edda and he speaks all the languages and knows how to pronounce it. So he's actually training um, 
he gives some training, he gets some lessons how to pronounce. So that I wanted to um, check out. Hey, the gray wolf, I was just wrapping up, sorry. Yeah, Amy can sing everything and anything and wherever, like, so, I mean, she, she, she sings cranberry for crying out loud, the cranberries. Hello? <laughs> so, yeah, surprise me. Oops. Okay, you guys, but I really got to go now. And um, thank you, everyone, for coming. That was a catnap of three hours, right? <laughs> we got to get together, too, Grey Wolf. So next time I will be back with the same length and I'm seeing it was one and a half hours anyways. And then I will be a little better prepared. I wasn't, I have to be honest, I wasn't really not well prepared because it was busy at work and I was tired at night and I had other stuff to do. So that's why I just had a little scratch of the story on the surface. So, um, Next one will be better. So, but I, I promise I come in every Tuesday and I keep my promises. So, okay, everyone, you all have a good night. Thank you very much, you awesome people, for coming. And wunderbar. <coughs> I'm sorry, wake up. <coughs> Thank you for coming, though. But Wake up, I have my daughter and my granddaughter over to visit, so, and they're staying with me for a couple of days, so I don't want to, you know, just sit here. So, okay, much love, everyone. Even the ones out that sometimes are a pain. So, you have an awesome night or an awesome day, wherever you are, and I love you. And we are all one love. Okay. Bye-bye. And I'm signing out for two hours like I do that every time. But I'm almost gone. I'm gone now. Any second now. <laughs> if my computer lets me. still here but I'm going now <laughs> I'm really trying to end this might not look like it <laughs> <laughs>